So I'm going to show you how you can create some video overlay effects in iMovie to, uh, to give your video a more professional look. Um, and so essentially the way that works is by having multiple layers of video. So it starts us off here with this one individual layer of video. Uh, but if I wanted to, I could actually drag uh, a video clip. So I can take a clip like this. And um, the first one I'm going to show you is one called a cutaway. Cutaway means that my video is going to play, and then at a certain point, it's going to cut to something else, but the audio in the original clip is going to keep playing. This happens a lot in television and movies. So let's say this person here who's talking is talking about the White House. So if I wanted to, I could take this picture of the White House and drag it anywhere in my second clip, just drag it right above it. And then whenever he gets to the point that he's talking about that, the video will actually cut away to this other clip. And then once it's over, it goes back to uh, my original person. Now my audio will still continue to play throughout that clip. I can still resize it um, just like that. So when I play it, it'll look like this. Cut away and then cuts back when it's done. Now I do have another option with this clip. In that clip itself, there are little handles here on both sides. If I click on that and drag, this will adjust the fade in and fade out. It's like adding a cross dissolve transition to the beginning and end of this clip so that when I watch it, it'll slowly fade in and out that cutaway that it won't be so abrupt if I want to. And so I can have multiple cutaways. I can add as many cutaways as I want onto this clip, I can adjust the length of them and have it cut in and out and in and out as many times as I need to, uh, which again helps create a more professional look. Now another option I have uh, is if I click on that clip, any one of these, let's do this one here, and I go up here to the top in my overlay settings, my video overlay settings is the first box here, cutaway is the default. Anytime I add a second clip on top of another, it always defaults to a cutaway clip which means, again, it takes over the entire screen. But I have a few other options under here. Uh, one of them is what's called a split screen. If I do split screen, it'll put the two, the two clips side by side. Um, I can choose whether or not that's left, right, top, or bottom, and control how that screen is, uh, is split. And then I can even create um, a slide effect if I want uh, by adjusting this here, which will actually have the one clip kind of slide in and then slide out at the end like that. All right, so that is what is called a split screen effect. Another option is I could also do what's called picture in picture. Picture in picture will take one picture, uh, the top picture, and it actually puts it in a floating window on top of the other clip. I can move it around, put it anywhere I want. I can also resize it. And I can even choose to uh, give it an effect on how it's going to appear. I can have it dissolve, zoom, or swap it in and out. I can control how long that effect is. And then I can even give that picture a border. I have a dotted line, I have a solid line, or a thick solid line. And then I can even change the color uh, of that border to make it anything that I want. All right, there's even the option to add a shadow behind that to make it help stand out from the background. So this is what that looks like. Right. And again, if I want it longer, I can just click on it and stretch it out. I said the same uh, little handles at the top to adjust the fade in and fade out to make it exactly what I want as it comes in and out. So those are just a couple effects that they call video overlay effects to be able to add um, a little more professional look to my movie.